During the course of uh, Idea Space 2016, we met um, a lot of wonderful women. And uh, for this next team, we put them all together. And so, for years, the early action response system by Innovable Incorporated is a wearable assistive safety device for the deaf and hard of hearing, alerting them of any incoming threat and alerting their loved ones in case of emergency. Let's welcome Pauline and Christina Guanzon. For Cleaning Lady, a social enterprise that provides professional, caring, and warm cleaning service to condo dwellers, let's welcome Oski King, Fran Rafio Feliciano, and Jan Alonzo. In the Philippines, there are 16 million persons with disabilities. 5 million are deaf and hard of hearing, and I am one of them. Here in our country, the things we need are just not accessible or readily available to us, and society in general is just not inclusive. We are more prone to road accidents and personal attacks as grave as sexual abuse. If we don't do anything about it, we'll remain the most vulnerable. Kita and SP are just two of the many voices in our country today who have previously remained unheard, singing the same song of a dream for a better life sharing stories of survival. Every day is living in the gap, and every day is a battle against the barriers to education, to employment, to resources, and to basic services. Cleaning Lady and Ears are here today to show that persons with disabilities are just as capable of anything as everyone else, that women can achieve anything they want to achieve, and that together, we can do much more. We are here to shatter labels and stigma, to build bridges, to break down barriers, and ultimately empower and enable them live a dignified life. In the Philippines, 19% of all road accident victims are pedestrian PWDs. Globally, 9 out of 10 women experience violence while on public transport. And the more staggering number is that one out of three women and children, deaf women and children especially, are victims of abuse, sexual, physical, and psychological. And there are still so much more out there that go unaided and unreported. These are more than just number to us. For I, myself, have experienced this having so many close calls. Going through this journey, we learned that I got off luckier than most, and that something must be done. Which is why we made EARS, our early action response system. And over two years of countless prototypes, we've created a wearable safety device for the deaf and hard of hearing. It alerts the user of any oncoming threat from behind or beyond her peripheral vision so that she can get out of harm's way. In cases of emergency, the device also alerts her loved ones and to the right authorities so that help can be sent. With ears, you can feel safe. With ears, you can feel brave. With ears, you can go where you want to go and be who you want to be. With ears, you can. We envision the world to be safe for all PWDs, for all women, for all. To help provide equal access open up opportunities, and realize the maximum potential of others like me. Just like EARS, Cleaning Lady empowers women, especially the marginalized, by providing them with job opportunities. Living in high-rise condominiums has made life easier for the busy millennials. But with this comfort also comes the challenge of cleaning and maintaining their unit amid busy work schedules. Cleaning Lady meets the demand of these condo dwellers 
for on-demand cleaning services while also providing jobs to women and mothers who live in the shadows of these high-rise buildings. We employ women from Gawad Kalinga communities such as GK Brookside in Quezon City and GK Mangahan Kawayanan in Paranaque. We provide proper training and had them certified under TESDA. Ultimately, we aim to build more than just a platform, but a community where our clients and our cleaning ladies make a difference in each other's lives. To place meaning before money, impact before income, and significance over success. It is in this quest to create positive change in the lives of PWDs, women, and Filipino families that probably by a stroke of luck, our teams were brought together since day one of the boot camp, where our startup journey together began. We were seated there next to each other and instantly formed a sisterly bond. <laughs> Who would have thought that we've, our teams would come this far? Where Ears is now gearing up for their first rollout, forging key partnerships with the deaf community and organizations like PADS, Nokia, Google, and even local government units to help reduce crimes, accidents, and disaster risks for women and PWDs. Or for cleaning lady, who now have more than 700 bookings, where more than 50% of their customers are repeat customers, and who have already expanded their reach to 11 key cities in Metro Manila within five months of starting. Who would have thought that we'd find ourselves together still, sharing this very stage and this very moment in forwarding the causes of each of our startup? Ears and clean ladies are drawn together by our common desire to address the plight of the voiceless, the forgotten, and the underserved. And for as long as this plight remains, we keep on fighting this good fight for all PWDs, for all women, and for all of us. It's the stories of women like Christina, like Ate Espy, and many more unnamed women and PWDs who's experienced the same challenges from which we draw our strength and inspiration to keep us motivated and committed to further the social agenda of both ears and cleaning lady. Regardless of gender or physical ability, given sufficient opportunity, one can transcend any, if not all, limitations. We can rise above any perceived disability or challenge by shifting the focus from can't do to can do. We can conquer challenges and rise above our current circumstances. We can contribute to society and to our country, and together we can make significant, lasting, and positive difference to make the world better than it is today. As what civil rights activist Cesar Chavez once said, we cannot seek achievement for ourselves and forget about progress and prosperity of our community. Our ambitions must be broad enough to include the aspirations and needs of others for their sakes and for our own. We at Ears and Cleaning Lady believe that the message rings loud and clear. For us to make any real progress, the issues of the marginalized must be addressed first. It's time to shatter negative labels and stigma. It's time. It's time to break the culture of indifference and apathy that has long consumed us all. The causes of ears and cleaning lady go beyond the immediate effect of the lives of PWDs and women that we help because these effects are multiplied through their families, our communities, and our country. This is their story. This is our story. We all hold the pen, and where it goes from here is totally up to us all. My name is Oski. My name is Pauline. My name is Jan. And I'm Christina. I am Fran, and we are Cleaning Lady and Ears. Thank you.